Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. So here we can see the connections. I've got my uh, DP scope, which is a small USB oscilloscope, connected to one of the probes, is connected to the GPIO port 25, and the other side of it is connected to ground. The first thing we want to do is open a console, either using SSH or LX terminal, and type sudo python. This starts up a live Python environment. You can see over on the right I have a notepad window open with some Python code in. We're going to copy across the first four lines. When enter is pressed you'll see the pulses here. This is our 50 Hz pulse with a 50% duty cycle. This means it's pulsing 50 cycles per second and is on half the time and off half the time. Let's change the duty cycle to 80% and see what happens to the output wave. See, it gets wider at the top, it means it's on for longer. Let's change it again to 90 this time. The wave gets wider. Now let's make it 100%. Now let's make it 0%. OK, now back to our original 50%. Now let's play with the frequency. We'll set it to 100Hz and you should see twice as many waves on the scope trace. Now 150 hertz. Now 200 hertz. Now back to 50 hertz. Now 30. Now 300. Now back to 50 hertz again. Now we'll stop the PWM output. Notice the multimeter display drops to almost zero when we stop sending PWM. Now let's clean up before we exit. Watch the multimeter value. It changes slightly. Still close to zero though. Then quit the Python environment with Control Z. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspi TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.